Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the Calm Before the Storm mod for Hot Divine 4. I'm your host, Mr. Spanish Lover, Mr. Spanish Republic Lover. And we're led by Miguel Maura, and we're coordinating our army, apparently. If we're to have a truly coordinated army, we need our walkie-talkies, and radios to allow our units to better communicate with each other. Not a bad idea. We're going to go ahead and expand Engineer Corps up next. We need to dominate the field to dominate the battle. To attain that goal, shall expand our Engineer Corps. Tenemos Capaza Dura Los del Cuerpo de Egni... Engineeros. I think I said this before, but I don't speak Spanish. And as you can see, well, we're still holding the line here. We're doing okay. What are the casualties like? Well, we've lost about 200,000 people. Uh, we've killed off 1.8 million Germans, while the Canadians really don't like Germans either. We've gotten rid of 150,000 Italian boys, uh, 35,000 Bulgarian boys. I guess we're at war with Japan too. We've got some synthetic oil experiments, which is pretty nice to see. Pretty darn nice. We could always use more, oh, more fuel. Oh, well, there goes our last sub. Oh, well. Well, we'll do the best we can. Right now, it's not too bad. Um, Where did I put most of our soldiers? Most of our soldiers are... Well, actually, I diverted a lot of the soldiers away from the line so that this way they would attack us. See? If there's not enough soldiers on the line, then they will all start attacking us like crazy. So, that's what I've been trying to do. As of Now, I mean, the Soviets and the Germans, they're still killing each other. Actually... The Soviets are 1.69 million. The Chinese United Front here is fighting them too. Denmark is by itself kind of hanging out. Yeah, I definitely want to play as different groups here. You guys are doing okay. Germany, yeah, actually, I think in the last episode, because there's been quite a bit of time between this episode and the last one, uh, they actually did raise up the conscription level, so now they're on an extensive conscription, which is going to be looking a lot better. They're about half a million, 600,000 ish. Especially if they keep attacking, we'll probably be able to beat them. Probably? So we'll see what happens, obviously, but I think this, unless the focus tree changes again, was well, probably going to be the last episode in this campaign, but you know, f maybe, maybe, you might know, but it doesn't matter. Ooh, economical, economical mobilization. Well, I do have the economic boom, that'd be pretty good to do, but we need to be at peace for that, but economic mobilization. War is upon us. It's time to mobilize all the industry we have built for it, because wars are one of the battlefield, but also in the factory, so as long as these guys keep going to town on us, Losing all the equipment. The Soviets should do really well. Oh yeah, America invaded the, at the end of last episode here. Oh, look, three carriers. But they were pushed out. Which kind of sucks. But now they're pushing back in. And why they give the territory to the Brits? I don't see a single British division here. But why they give it to the Brits? I mean, that's going to divert soldiers away from this front line. Which is okay-ish. I mean, there's a lot of soldiers. And we wouldn't really be able to push them out anyways. But at the same time, still. So, and they're doing okay-ish here. Sort of. Yeah, a lot of Brits over there. Uh, the Reich's over here, too. Ooh, that sucks for these guys, but... Is Saudi Arabia and the Allies? No, that is not good. They do have one last port down there, which kind of sucks for them, but... Oh, well, it is 43 now, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. It's weird seeing the Chinese United Front not being, first of all, whole in the east here. What the heck? Hami and Xinjiang? But, yeah, they pushed out the Japanese quite a bit, but they're still alive, so we'll see what happens. Um, other than that, not much else has really happened too much. Uh... America hasn't really invaded too many different islands yet. I hope they can do really well. The Philippines has not fallen either. And it's just pretty much a giant mess all over the place. Like, it's, it's pretty messy here. It's pretty darn messy. But you could probably tell that anyways. Uh, what else can we do here? Join France? No, we're kind of okay. I don't mind getting more attack. Expanding the engineer corps is pretty good. Uh, economic mobilization. Get another, another milo, which is nice. Um... The organization is not bad. I don't, mind, I don't mind this one because you do get 5% more organization, which is pretty darn good. Even though I really wouldn't mind getting a little bit more manpower and stuff. What is this one? Organization and recovery rate's not bad either. I like their artillery and tech. I like this one too. We can't choose it because the current ruling party is not social conservative, so. You only choose it so many times. Organization, recovery rate. Uh, air, air stuff is not bad either. Radar station construction speed. But if we're going to do something here. Let's get some more defense and breakthrough. Hit him a little harder on defense, which doesn't make any sense, but just go along with it. Industry-wise, what do we have? Let's get some more output. After battlefield concentration, how about we grab some more construction? Sounds like a good idea. And after fuel refining, let's grab some more cap, which is also very good as well. But yeah, as long as we're defending pretty darn well, that's really what matters right now. Also, I think I'm trying to make some of these guys 40 combo with as well. Because we have 40s, I don't think we have enough, um, enough stuff. Oh, we got some. Nice. 
Yeah, all you guys go and switch on over to 40s. Just make sure division for division will be okay overall. And since we're here, Form Department, what are we building up? Because we're running out of things to build eventually, because we're building a lot of land forts now. We're building some dockyards as well to get some, uh, get a refinery. Dockyards, we get a bigger navy, even though we could use. We really use more fuel. We sunk some Japanese convoys there, huh? And it looks like the Americans were pushed out again. Advanced fire base is very good. And let's go with the end of the land doctrine with a shock and awe. So, Soviets, how many of you lost? China's lost. There's so. Where's way too many Chinese factions? But they have lost 2.62 million. They've lost 2.01 million. Alright, they seem to be doing okay, though. Like. Eventually, Germany's going to run out of manpower, and this keeps going on, which is fine with us. Like, don't get me wrong, it's totally fine with us. It's a manpower of Italy, like. I'm surprised Luxembourg is not dead yet. They're com literally completely surrounded by the Germans. They got a lot of manpower. They're almost out of manpower once again, which is pretty nice, but. Doctrine of Innovations. Although our armies improved greatly, we can still rock on developing our doctrines further, which actually wouldn't make any sense for us to do. We're still going to do it anyways, because I don't really care. Even though we're finishing up our land doctrine, it doesn't really matter. Alright, take you guys, take half you guys. Do we have enough equipment for now? Yes. Because eventually I'm going to fatten up these divisions more just because I did want to like guard everything else here. Actually, if we go to war with these guys, well, could we? Hmm. We're guaranteed by the UK though, so. Hmm. Alright, Vela Perez. Vela Perez. Thank you very much for playing. Yeah, I don't think Germany's going to be able to keep this up very much. Control of the arts, nice. Oh, they raised the conscription level. They're all in all adult serve now. Which is not going to be enough probably to fight the Soviets. Because 5 million manpower is time. They're out of manpower. They're out of manpower. You have a little bit left. But they're just only volunteer only. You have some on extensive. you got a little bit on volunteer only. Barely any under volunteer. Or limited conscription. And it's got a little bit left too. So that's not too bad for them. But France has quite a bit too. Interesting. All that matters is that they just, they just keep attacking us. Oh, are we out of stuff? Sure, guys. Yeah, we'll take stuff. Yeah, thanks. So after this, we can do that stuff. I'm going to invest in what? I'm not going to move. If you're wondering about... Eh, I don't really want to do this one. The Beer and Peninsula may not be entirely safe from uh, invasions. We need it to control. We'll take some of the industry and move it to the Earth. Canaries. C or Canary. Can Canarias. And even the Sahara, at least temporarily. The Republic needs you, of course. Um, that's not bad. Forteza Antifascismus. Forma La Nueva. Around the spirit of 1808, we would capitulate. Contact the Requesta, Request, Requetes, secure left of support, and Gira de Independencia. Huh. Alright, but we're probably going to go ahead and do invest in Casa. We need to invest heavily in Construcciones Aeronauticas Sociedad Anomina to increase their air production capabilities. Cool. Oh, yeah, and America apparently invaded uh, Sicily. And uh, the Brits invaded the boot, or the heel of the boot. So, cool. But again, there as the Italians and the Germans are trying to break through what was once known as uh, Ethiopia. Yeah, it's, it's pretty standstill in a lot of places. Maybe except for this front, but, you know. Whatever. This is an incredibly brutal war. Yeah, you guys are still at over a million. Easily, comfortably over a million. Nice. Uh, what's a ship like? What, what do we have? Ooh, a battleship. The Alfonso, which is still not a great ship, but whatever. We have no fuel. Can I trade for a little bit of fuel? Can, can we import fuel from anybody that doesn't require convoys? No. Well, that kind of sucks. America. Oh, can we do one, maybe? Yeah, that's not going to be enough. We're going to need more fuel or refineries and such. Here, do three at a time. Because the good lord knows we need them. Um, we can probably close out of this one. We don't need any more really war bonds. Yeah, other sorts we're making, but I don't really care right now. Um, playing stuff? Naval speed goes down. More research speed and max range factors. Okay. I don't like less attack for more armor. Uh, this one seems okay. Attack the bombers. Yeah, we'll see. I'm really using light tanks. We'll probably use this one. More soft attack. Probably. Just hit them harder. Just hit, 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 hit. Right now, we're missing fighters. Everything else is looking pretty good, so. 10, 40. There you go. And if you guys want to train, you're probably not going to die doing this down there. That'll be okay with us. 
And you guys are already 40 combos, which is pretty darn nice. <coughs> nice, nice. You guys are 40-ish as well. Defender cities, we have enough anti-air for that? Yes, we do. Very good. Construction 5. We got some extraction, actually. That'd be decent for us. Disperse industry. Let's go to the next anti-bombing measures. That's not bad. Let's go with some... Fuel gain per oil. Why not? We could use more fuel, right? We're out. Completely. But happy June, everybody. There was a comment saying that we should go play as fast as USA in this mod. Which I do. I would like to sometime. So we'll get there eventually. Like, we will. Not sure when, but eventually. So this, at the time of this recording, I'm very extremely busy, so... It is what it is. And we could use some of that rubber, too. Some free rubber is always nice. It's not free, but still. Oh, yeah. I'll take some planes. Oh, yeah. So you guys are all good. You're all 40s. At least you should all be 40s. Go on, switch on over. Just a look weak for now. As we're training our soldiers to be better, 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 better. We could get some more stability. Hmm. Hmm. Region wide industrial integration would be not too bad either. Hmm. Capital ship attack and naval AA is not bad, even though I've heard at the time of this recording, AA doesn't naval AA doesn't do a lot. We don't have any carriers, so sub stuff would be nice, but this is the one we definitely want to do. Any upgrades? No. Really good with cruisers though. Hmm. I wish the front wasn't so stagnant, you know. They're definitely just scripting as much as possible. Let's just talk about like they're completely out of equipment. Just like the Soviets, though. Hmm. America, would you like to invade somewhere else, please? Because I don't want this to be too much of a well, kind of already is somewhat of a standstill, but still. I see. Now they're just still attacking, which is very nice. They have so many divisions here. I just don't think we can do anything. Now, actually, you know what? We can be pretty ballsy here. Cancel, lend lease. Not an aggression pact. That's a Q. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to assume that the Americans have a good amount of naval stuff. They have naval superiority. I, for the love of God, I hope they do. Let's invade. From here to there. And from here, my goal is for us to land, cut them off, and just have a front there. The best we possibly can. Because we have the numbers, but do we have the strength to do it? That's the real question. Oh, that sucks for fighting up here, too. Sucks for them. So after investing in costs, what are we going to do? As your seat de air, expand the SCCM. We'll need a bigger navy. We want to secure a coast. To expand our navy, we'll expand the SCCN dockyards first. Oh, we did build those. Oh, fine, it's nice, good. Oh, look at all this extra space we have. Nice, even more. Nice. We don't need a lot for the navy. And that's really the one that consumes the most. Well, I don't think they can do much against us, can they? They're looking so incredibly weak. Let's see. You know what? Alright, everybody, get back on the line. We're going to try a couple attacks here and there. Because they're looking incredibly weak. I'm 25 inch still mountains, don't get me wrong, but still. I'd like to take this tile at least back first. Benson Casa. SECN. Come on, boys. I know you can do it. Or not. Okay, so they couldn't do it. That sucks. Can you guys go here, maybe? Maybe? Can we take some French territory, actually? Fuel refining is very nice as well. Grab some more fuel gain from refineries. That'd be awesome. Because if we can open up another front here, that'd be... Oh, boy. That would be good. Straight up. So here to here. Nantes... Because all I want to do is just run around. Run, 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 run. Open up the front. That's a lot easier than I thought it would be. They didn't have a single gosh darn division here. Uh, okay then. 
they're going to start pulling divisions off the line, hopefully. Um, and we don't need that many over here, so there you go. Except for one. Let's go back. Oh, they're moving up. They're moving up. They're moving up. Oh, boy. Don't get them. Don't get us in a circle. Come on, guys. Move, 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 move. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. If you can actually win there, that'd be awesome. Just for the love of God, do not get in a circle here. Ah, the Americans landed in Shadbrook. Look at that. They actually did D-Day in 43 because we did D-Day first. Nice. Um, what do we have? Tactical bombers? I think we have tactical bombers. Well, supposedly we have tactical bombers. Radio interception is nice. Let them attack us. And now they've, they've lost quite a few guys down here. We actually might be able to push into here, maybe. Maybe. Hmm? Uh-oh. Oh, the Americans have landed, too. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This might be it. The United Nations? The U.S. is trying to gather support for de declaration by the United Nations to stand in defense of democracy and freedom against our totalitarian enemies. As a democracy, perhaps we should consider joining? Useless talk. Absolutely useless. Excavation. Some more fuel gain for oil. That'd be great. Together for victory. Sounds like a DLC for by Paradox. But, hey, whatever. Still trying to go. That's fine with us. Come on, you guys got this. You guys got this. What, just a bunch of Jerry's, that's all. Oh, can we go to here? Maybe? Yes? No? Oh. Oh, yeah, so now they are on one, two, three fronts on this side. They technically have that front down there. They're starting to lose. Oh, are the Soviets pushing? Oh, God. Oh, they're still mobilizing more. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's very nice. Should be more armies, but whatever. Um, Yeah, I don't really want to push them so that they consolidate their lines more. I want to do encirclements, but I don't think we can really do that right now. Hmm. Because they're pushing hard against the Americans here. Um. Hmm. You try front wide attack, maybe? You might do well down there. Over here, you we really still have to just concentrate our forces. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's, uh, that's a few too many divisions for me to be feel confident about that one. Six to there is probably not enough. Um, actually, right here we could do well. Yeah, there you go. If they want to attack into this area, they will attack them here. And look at the Soviets uh, might be pushing back in. Yeah. They, oh, Romania's almost gone. Romania's almost gone. That's nice to see. Now, how much rubber do we have? We have ten. We actually got ten rubber. That's actually really good. Even though we're losing some more manpower, which sucks, but whatever. I have like three more. You need way more aluminum though. We're linked up with Americans, which is very nice. Nice. Good. Oh, you guys can definitely push into here. Now, let's go, boys. Let's force it. Force them to die. They're doing force defense. They have to be for that. They have to be, man. They have to be. We lost, what, a quarter million? 300,000? Quarter million. We killed off 2.7 million of them. Holy crap. It's awesome. Push them through the southern front because the Soviets are c coming in. They've already entered Bulgaria. Almost all of Romania's gone. Politics of Hung Hungary gone as well. Oh, this is a mess up here, but whatever. Uh, Atlantic Navy? Mediterranean Navy. Well, let's do this one first. As you'll see, to air. We finally have to organize an independent air force. Like the land army, the army of the air will protect us from above. Let's go in. Go in. France will be ours. Because technically, France, I think, did capitulate them. I can't remember. I would like to own France. Oh, we actually linked up. Look at that. Oh, that's so good. Screw it. At this point, one solid front line and push. The collapse of the German front. Go, go, go. Start of this one. Fighter primacy. I like that one. Bomber primacy. It's not bad either because we're using both. Heavy fighter project. I'm not really going to use that one. Oh, but it's better for heavy for just fighter production costs. Five anti air is not worth it. It's absolutely not worth it. Uh, naval bombers we might use. But we're not really going to use it too much. That's 5% plus 5%. 
plus 5% protected plus 15%. So they're both 15% in total, really. So it doesn't really matter. Um, I'll just do fighter primacy. We have to maintain your superiority or else the Air Force won't have any use at all. Makes sense. Let's go. Ah, hello, Nick Republic has joined the Allies. Great. France. We, the liberation of France has, of course, as you can tell, has begun, but honestly, with all this going on here, America should be able to push into Italy stronger, at least push more to Africa, but I guess we'll have to wait to see that happen, huh? Even more refineries. Just just so many refineries we need. We will stop attacking soonish because, you know, this is pretty devastating, but whatever. Oh, did I get rid of all the other division types? Ah, uh, whatever. Come on, get Paris. It's a race to see who can who can destroy the Germans fast enough. And uh, the, the Russians are taking a while to actually win over there. You know what? We'll do that one. The Soviets are pushing in though. Hey, Italy, what's your map? I like. There are a quarter million left for now. I love the green. Don't get me wrong, I love the green. Oh, the French state's gone. Oh, that's, that's pretty bad for them. More millies for now? Yes, please. Oh, there's a lot of enemy soldiers are trapped. Good. As they should be. Go, 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 go. Completely cut them off. They are still connected up here, unfortunately, so... Yeah, if you could concentrate your attacks, like, right here or something. That would be great. Just, we gotta cut them off somehow, somewhere here. One of these tiles has got... Come on, get one more tile. Just one more tile to cut these guys all off. Oh, yes, we got him. Look at all these guys. Completely all encircled. All of them. Oh, so bad for them. Oh! Come on. Do not let them get to the border here. Nice. Nope. 15 divisions, including Germans and Italians. We will perish here today. Or whenever the battle's over. This is sad. Look at all these divisions trapped in circle dying. Oh boy, so that's like... 25? 25 plus 8 is 33 divisions? Oh my goodness. Oh. Just yum yums. 9 million. We've killed off the most, which is very surprising to me. We actually have a little bit of fuel, look at that. A little bit of fuel. Oh, they're circled in Dijon as well. The Dijon pocket. Excuse me. Yeah, I don't think the Germans can really hold on anymore. The Italians, maybe, but the Germans... Oh, the American invaded through the Netherlands. The Germans are holding on very well against the, the Soviets. Against us, not so much. We're going to do for a while. I'm just going to focus on the top front here. Get some planning out. I don't want to force them to go just yet. Get your line, get to where you need to be, and then we're going to push in, because fighting through here sucks. So give it a little bit of time. Three, two, one. Let's go. Full speed ahead. Oh, oh we're going to have Johnsons, which probably means guns. Nice. We need more chromium, too. Aluminum's up a lot better. Huh. Alright, so I'm going to pull you out again. Wait, why did they get rid of Franco? What the heck? No, I wanted you out. Oh, don't you love when the game is derpy? Yes, you do. I guess we're going to here. It's not quite over yet, but that's okay. Uh, uh, fighter primacy. We have to maintain your superiority or our air force won't have any use at all. Oh, do they still have the Maginot? Oh, they don't have the Maginot line here, huh? Pretty good. 
Of course, it is mounds, but still. Oh, the Soviet Union did an encirclement, but an invasion. Not bad. All I want you to do here is just hold. Just hold the line. Literally all I want you to do. Oh, America, yes. I soon join the Allies. Good. Oh, look at that encirclement. Oh, that sucks for them. One, two, three, four, four, five, seven. Nineteen divisions have been encircled here. Very cool. Well, nothing like the good old Spanish army helping out the Allies. <coughs> You're trapped, son. Your divisions are trapped. Yeah, when, in, when you can't push them, like according to the Soviets, you just navally invade them. Nice. And after fighter primacy, uh, heavy fighter projects. If we want to win the race for the control of the skies, we have to go further and make up fighters. Flying fortresses. Even more fuel. Add more fuel to the fire. Because once Germany's gone, it's all over for the Axis. It's literally all over. Alright, you guys have more than enough time to plan. Go, go, go. Our loan will be ours. Um, do you have it? It's volunteers. Can we go to war with them? Can we, like, add them to us or something? Do we, do we have volunteers from... Hmm... We don't have enough guns. Yeah, we need more guns. Casually missing 10,000 guns. That kind of sucks. Uh, go there. Try that. See what you can do about that much. We need more every day, especially if we're pushing it this hard. Nice. Keep it up. Keep it up. Because they, they just can't hold against the Soviets. Bulgaria's doing relatively well. Romania's still holding on somehow, but... Ain't too bad for them. But with this type of fighting, it's not that bad. Yeah. Defender says is... Eh, it's an okay one. It's an okay focus. It's not great. But we've entered Germany proper, my friends. We are now in Germany. And we will be dealing with them at a slash of low. They've only lost almost 10 million. We've caused... 3.8 million casualties. We have a little bit less war score than the UK. And we have more than double the US right now. And 8% less than the... Uh, uh, where, is their, where are their divisions? They must be literally all fighting the Soviets. Which makes sense to me, but still. Nice. Very nice. You must literally all be over here. Then again, America. What are you doing to get Italy taken care of? Or Northern Africa. Or just Africa. Or here. You lose you lost territory up there too. Holy crap. Son. Keep going, keep doing what you're doing. Doing a great job. Francisco Franco's on the right side of history, some might say. You get point nine eight every day, huh? It's not enough. That'd be great. Go right here. Did we cut them off? Oh, I couldn't cut them off. That sucks, man. Yeah. They, they must send all the divisions to the east. Because this is not bad at all. How many divisions have we got left? 325. 10 million have died. Obviously not enough, but, you know, whatever. It's not bad. Some, for some of research speed, it's pretty good. Make it a little easier for us. You go to Berlin. If we can get Berlin before the Soviets, I'd be happy. I kind of doubt it. The Soviets are much closer to Berlin than we are, but, you know, whatever. Bielfield. Heavy fighter projects, yep. And then follow it up with... Improved try... Uh, anything here? Modern Air Force. That is not bad. Daily air, or air speed gain plus 15%. <coughs> Lightship modernization. Amphibious warfare. Renew the Admiralty. Secure traffic. Karuna Dockyards. Ooh, that's not bad, but naval bombing, naval targeting, five-year plan, support subs, carrier project. Seems like we probably want to go down with the Mediterranean Navy instead. Um, we are a Mediterranean na Mediterranean nation, and we should focus on defending our long longest coast using small ships and escorts. While the Mediterranean launch, while using the Mediterranean to launch naval invasions. 
Oh, and you're tickled, and you're about to die. <sighs> Very nice. A 20 combo with it looks like, or so, Division is going to die. Or maybe potentially 27 combo with as well, because I know the AI likes using 27 combo with for some reason as well. Well, we were, we are now in what was, was once known Austria, and probably return Austria to its former glory, but whatever. And we'll strike south into Italy. Very soon. Seriously, are we really going to get to Berlin? Hey, another division in circle. Look at that. Nice. Now, we've killed off almost 4 million Germans. The Spanish military. Oh, so strong. What do you believe? Domingo, patat. No, here's my video. We don't really need you there, so... Thank you. Come again. Yep, we've taken Italian territory already. Hey, America, move up. Keep moving up through the boot. Oh, we have more divisions? Nice. Go somewhere there, guys. Go somewhere there. Oh, yeah, they're, they're definitely... Oh. Königsberg is almost completely cut off. Continue naval... Hitler. Hitler, b buddy. Why do you continue your naval doctrine? You literally don't have time for that right now. You've got a lot of bigger fish to fry first. How many better light ships, too? These guys do not look great. I'll be honest. But you know what? I guess it's what we got. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, you, convoys. Cool. Excavation three, excavation one. So plenty of fuel for now. Okay, not too bad. We've erect, erect, reached, reached, but the protector of Bohemia and Moravia. Fighter baiting. <coughs> Actually, no very superiority, huh? That's interesting. No wonder we're not doing as well as we could have. Yeah, we're getting closer to Berlin though. Like. We do have a lot of anti air. Can we get a prog? That'd be awesome. We do my integration. You probably honestly stop doing these two ish areas. Nice. No supplies going in. Soviets. I know you're out of guns, but my goodness. Come on, guys. You're focusing on agriculture development. They went all the way up to service by requirement. You don't need to go that far, but whatever. Less than a million for the Germans. They must be done mobilizing. Go take Prague. Nice, come on. Go take Praha. Two thousand. Wow, we must be out. And anti-air and artillery. We Berlin is literally a frontline city. Oh, it should help us out with the guns. Yay, better, much better. Why are the French guarding the Berlin? Come on, let's take it. Let's take it. Potsdam, like the conference air. Oh, Germany's gone. Germany's gone. Ding dong. The Germans are gone. Clean up the rest. Destroy the Italians, which we've done really well with. And time for you all to shine as well. Go on in. Go, 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 go. And just in case, if we need a few extra thousand guns. Yeah, we could really use more guns. Go, go, go. Wow. Argentina's at war with us, too. I did not realize that. So, we do we have to capitulate? I guess it's Japanese, but I'm not going to get involved with them. Uh, just the Italians. That's it. Slow box tag is gone. Kind of surprised America's not kill these guys off, too, but whatever. Whatever. Alright. Mediterranean Navy. Followed up with what? There you go. And amphibious warfare. The best use we can give to our fleet is transporting our armies to the enemy shores, taking them by surprise. Nice. Wow. Yeah, Italy, once Germany's gone, they're just going to completely die. That's exactly what we want, don't get me wrong, but still. And Domingo, you got something else to learn? No? Okay. Organization first. Yeah, we've almost linked up here. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we're running out of manpower, though. I didn't realize that. We're already on extensive conscription, but whatever. Oh. Oh, what? Turkey. Of all the times to join the Axis. Why would you do that now? And then again, you could also ask, why did I just go to war with Luxembourg? Because I want to eat them. And it's for the borders. You know, it's all for the borders. Our allies will race down here and help us out, right? 
totally. If not, we can always call this army over soon, too. Cool. Nice. Alright. Very good. Beware the Luxembourg menace. I'm going to assume the Soviets are going to get Turkey, so I'm not really going to be focused on them too much. Just saying. Yeah, I don't think they're really expecting an attack from us. From the north. I think anyone expects an attack from the northern part of uh, Italy. Luxembourg, Luxembourg will be ours. Oh, maybe not. That's a lot of divisions. It's all right. Beautiful. Oh, Saudi Arabia. That is so weird. Keep going in, guys. Francisco Franco, yes. We would like to create the Iberian Union, maybe, but um, I'm thinking more like uh, the Triumvirate. Let's create something called the Triumvirate. I think a, a, a faction, a group of Mediterranean states all under one size, one group here. That could be very beneficial for the economic security of the nations here in the Mediterranean. Yeah, yeah. Led by... Led by us. I think that'd be great. Rome is the front line state. Oh! Uh, I'll be honest. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this. Just going to do that for now. Thanks. Spanish group. Yay! Sarajevo. Cancel and lease. And Rome was no the, the Romans. Italians. Like, they, are, they're either out of manpower and or out of map. No, they have a little bit of manpower left, but they must be completely out of equipment. Eh, they got a little bit of equipment. Not much. Yeah, they got no, no equipment left, so. And we're taking Rome. Oh, well, it's over, guys. We won. Um, Let's divide it up first. So, you can have what was once known as Poland. Yeah, you can have uh, basically Eastern Europe. Ostpreisen. All the way to Slovakia as well. We'll figure out what they want. We have no Potsdam conference. Then again, it is what it is, whatever. Uh, Osmark. Here, we'll go all the way to like Mecklenburg. Brandenburg up here. Really small states in some of these areas. We got two. There we go. We take Hungary as well. Even though we, I think we capitulated them. I can't remember, honestly, but you can have Hungary and Romania. Something like that. And Bulgaria. You can have Bulgaria, too. And you know what? You know this area, too. There you go. Albania. Montenegro. That's, I think, what you deserve up to. All right. Um, actually, let's fix this up a little bit better. Um, socks in these guys, and none of that over there. So, oh, actually, I actually, I could picture like that. So they don't get that. Um, let's see. America, the Netherlands can have. Well, I guess you can have this. You know what? You're gonna Belgium as well. I think anyone wants a Belgium to exist. So yeah. Hmm. Only makes sense. Let's see, Tuvan People's Republic, UK. You can have this part of Germany. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that part of Germany can be yours. Uh, Soviets, you can have Turkey as well. America. You can have Southern Germany in this part of these guys as well. I apologize for taking so long, it's just, I want to make sure this looks just right. Nice. You know what, you can have the Balkans as well for now. Oh, that's part of Hungary. Ah, shh. Don't tell the Soviets about that part. There you go. Egypt can be given to the UK. What part of Bulgaria did we not do? Oh, it's right there. 
and Italy. Well, we didn't do all of it, and a lot of it should go to America, but we already gave up a lot of the stuff we did in Germany to everyone else, so Italy will be ours, and uh, oh, they have stuff up here. I'll give this to, give this part of the UK as well. You know this Norwegian stuff. Uh, I'll just take all the rest of this. Sadly, the Argentine. All right, well, we'll get some of our colonies back. All righty, and there we go. Argentine Republic. Hello, Ramon Castillo. Spanish Republic is looking pretty good. Oh, there's some lag because a lot of the nation is probably going to get released right now. Oh, you have... What the heck? <coughs> it's really ugly. The way we made it. Southern Germany and Austria together. And the Balkans like this. Oh, there's... Socialist Republic of Romania. Oh, America. Why are you getting rid of these guys? Why are you opening them up? We have Georg person. We've got the Bulgarian dude. Georg Dimitrov. Let's see. And Herzegovina and... Herzegovina and... Bosnia. That dude right there. So Union over here. We have Hungary again. A lot of lag. Lots of lag. Holy crap. Is it Poland being released maybe? Uh, Mikolas Horthy. Even though he's, a, he's now a Leninist. Did you know Mikolas Horthy was a Leninist apparently? The Czech People's Republic. Clement Gottwald. Social Republic of Slovakia. Actually, who owns this? I'm down here. It's still Soviet boys, huh? And we still have the Turks over here, led by Sifik Husnu. We've got the Hellenic Republic still here. That still exists. We have Envahoksa. Uh, oh, maybe I should not give him this, because that really separates them out, but whatever. Um, Alright then. Oh, this is ugly. Oh, maybe I should give him the... Eh, whatever. Kind of, oh, out an hour. Oh, West Germany's... I gave him way too much of West Germany, I guess. Whoopsie! Yeah, they still... Okay, they released... Env Ernst Tailman. Why did they... It was supposed to be given to the Soviets, but okay. Uh, this was supposed to be part of Poland, okay. You know what? I'm I'm, I'm, I'm sure these guys feel relatively okay-ish about that. And we can still do stuff here. Um, Luxembourg. What should we do with it? Release as a puppet? Nah. Occupation of Ethiopia is under control. She is released as a puppet. Um, yeah. Occupation of France. I don't know, man. I'm feeling like this is really nice. Well, French public government. I guess we do that one. African states should remain under our domain for now. Return Greek lands. That's fine. We don't. I don't care about the Greek lands too much. And Greek lands. That's fine. Return their lands. Um, make them quite happy. Here, give them the core states. Slovenia. Give them the core states too. That's fine. Oh well. Occupation of Italy. A United. Oh, I, uh, I should have done the Italian stuff first, and they gave him that stuff. But whatever. Alrighty, so Italy's here too. So now we have Emmanuel. You're back. Hey, uh, Luis Marin, and you actually don't have a port still. Three S is still under them. For some reason, we still have Susak. America owns owns all portions of here. Um. Oh, and America gave back Alsace to them. Maybe it's warfare. The best use we can give to our fleet is transporting our armies to the enemy shores, taking them by surprise. Even though we did a little annex Luxembourg by occupation of Somalia. Uh, nah, we're okay. You bet. Gustav. Wilhelmina. And this is the world that we see it right now. The Allies have done really well in Europe. It's basically a Cold War type of Iron Curtain thing. And the Soviets did not release Poland. Like, they must hate the Poles so much. And again, who does not? But yeah, they actually have Turkey now, even though we have a lot more of Western Germany. Like, quite a bit more. And we do have some of the Balkans under our control as well. Um, of course, we have Greece. We have all of Africa looking pretty good under us. And we do have Argentina. We do have uh, uh, India still as well, as well as stuff around here. But hey, I think that's going to be it for me for this campaign. There's not really much else we can do here. I know Spain supposedly has like a lot of different paths, but obviously we didn't get through a lot of them. Or, you know, get a see of it. Because we originally wanted to do CEDA. And I'm going to go back and do the Central Strike sometime. I'm not sure when, but I promise I'll do it eventually. So... Uh, here's a couple more things here and there. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff we could not do, so uh, maybe some other time. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, 
Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we will start or be in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.